Hello Superherd and welcome back to Plants for Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we're going to be doing a very last second mystery portal. I think this is the latest I've done a mystery portal into the mystery portal. We have three hours remaining to do super mix mode objective rush. Plants and zombies are spawning. Feel the rush with dizzying speed to grab objectives and take over the turf with speed boost craziness. What do they mean by grab objectives? Uh, I'm guessing it's just turf takeover with base, plants, and zombies, and it's super speed? I think that's what they mean. We'll go ahead and find out. So it does seem that I actually can spawn in as any class, so I figured I've been trying to level up my all-stars recently. I'll continue on with that. I'm the closest to leveling level 10 to the Moto Star for right now. <laughs> Look at how fast we move. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I think that's just sort of the whole idea, is that it's turf takeover with super speed. It's simple, but you know, if it's simple, it's sort of, you know, there's low risk of it not being that fun because it's, it seems like every character is available, so you should be able to choose whatever you feel like doing. So you should be able to counter anything. You know, really, we've had that issue lately a lot where it'll be like sort of like, what was it recently? Wasn't it like, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, charge, charge! Yeah, I charged it. That was a good first vanquish of the day. But um, it was like scientists and super brains, or was it scientists and all stars? No, I think it was something like that. But it was like, you know, you, you know, a limited amount of class choices, which also meant a limited amount of counters. And that's a sort of, made sometimes the gameplay a little frustrating. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't get you there. I was pretty close. Oh, I still got you though. I'm gonna put a shield up right there because I know they're chasing me. It's hard to stay alive for very long with this just because everybody's moving around so quick. You can just barely keep track of everybody. But I'm gonna sneak around this way. I know people are trying to chase me. Ooh, come on, come on. Oh, I can't get you. These shooters are too quick. Shoot that over there, though. Yeah, that was a lucky one. That was a really lucky one. Come on, get you, get you, get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. Charge. Yeah, okay. I didn't really get that with my charge, but I still got him. Time sports a great start. All right, I, th I think we got all the plants. That's pretty good. Ah, oh, no. Oh, I couldn't react fast enough. I should have just kept running past him. <laughs> that would have been funny. So, yeah, uh, I've been playing a lot of Splatoon 2 recently, so my first instinct is to start like tilting and twisting my controller because that's what you do in Splatoon. <laughs> and obviously it doesn't too, do too much here in Garden Warfare, but it's just really weird because like, I'm not used to it. So if I do bad today, I'm blaming on that. I'm used to the Splatoon controls. Splatoon's been a lot of, goodbye. Splatoon's been a lot of fun. If you guys don't know, Splatoon is a brand new Nintendo game. It's really similar to Garden Warfare in a lot of ways and also different in all the right ways. Let me fill this up and nobody's gonna be paying attention to me. I'm just gonna run to the next one, like this one, because nobody else seems to remember that the game mode is about doing this because everyone else ran right past it. But um, let's get you. If you guys don't know, Splatoon is also a third person multiplayer shooter. It is very, very fun. And I just finished the story mode the other day and now I've been doing the online mode too and that's a lot of fun. Let's kick that over there. Okay. Let's get back over here and charge it. Get out of here. The double. Oh, that was good. I'm playing a decent all star today. That is uncommon for me. I can't get this because I keep sliding all over the place. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's try to help get you if I can. There we go. Wow. We were getting so many vanquishes today. Like, I usually don't do this well with any all star loud microphones. Sorry about that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Good. Okay, I need to get out of here if I can. I don't think I can. <laughs> They're gonna find me. I should have just ran. I th Once again, I think if I just ran out of there, I think it would have been just fine. Because I feel like a race car. I feel like I'm actually on a motorcycle, which is great, because I'm the Moto Star. Uh, let's go this way. And we've been doing an okay job at pulling up the mirrors. Not the best, though. Okay, sir, if you're leaving, then I'm just gonna fix this. And then I'm gonna get over there and and then I'm gonna kick this right there in, and then charge you. No, I missed the charge and I missed the impunt. All right, well, I don't really need to do it because I can just walk up, do this, and then just run away. Did it not work? Why didn't that work? Uh, okay, it's just turning, that's fine. Forgot that it's not moving as fast as I am. Hello, oh, okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just gonna run. Once again, I can just run in. Hey guys, Oop. goodbye. Wait, kick, goodbye. <laughs> I'm just running and gunning right now, it's great. Okay, now I can get you guys, because that's just some easy vanquishes. Oh, got you, the double. Pick up this. Wow, we are like storming towards level 10. This is tons of vanquishes. We're doing good, and we're almost at level uh, promotion 35, so that's great. Thank you, Mr. Scientist. I'm sure the scientists are doing great in today's, or uh, this week's mystery portal. Boom, that was good. Another times five. This is like our third times five vanquish streak already. We're doing pretty good, even if I ran right into that, and I should have been more aware. I feel like we're doing great. 
Okay, so let's get back up. So if I can get some easy All-Stars levels today, if we play on the plants, who should I play? Hmm, probably Pea Shooter. It seems like Pea Shooter's a popular choice, and it's probably for a good reason. Uh, we'll see who the top Vanquisher is, and maybe if it's on the plant team, we'll give that a shot. Oh, come on, come on. You know what, I'm just gonna do this. Doesn't really change too much, to be honest. All right, I'm just gonna get out of here for now. I need to let my cooldowns you know, finish up, because it seems like, you know, the best strategy for sure right now is just to use my abilities. Like, I can sit there and shoot, but it just, especially as, oh wow, we're all, even top vanquisher for how late we joined. Even as the, the, well, what's his name? The Mudo X star. <laughs> uh, his just primary weapon really isn't that great, especially for quick vanquishes, so I'd rather just, you know, wait for my abilities and beyond that, just do a little bit of that. Apparently that wasn't enough to vanquish you. It was, it just took its time. The game mode is moving too slow for how fast we're moving. And the, and the game mode moves pretty fast. How did that move to the left there? Was there like some air resistance? What was with that? I it was facing forward, it moved to the left. I don't know, that was a little weird. All right, well, I might wanna change my sprint tackle if I am gonna keep playing All-Star because I don't think I need the supercharged sprint tackle for, you know, just I need more sprint tackles more than I need more damage from it. All right, let's go to you because I know you're low. Or not, I'm pressing the fire button and literally nothing is happening. Boom, I kicked it, and then Super Brains literally stopped it. Thanks, Super Brains. Ooh, come on, I just need a couple more seconds. I'm not gonna get those seconds. Okay, let me really quick then, go ahead and uh, go up here. Nope, what, what, what happened? Oh, I guess it was over. Okay, for a second I thought it kicked me. I guess I, it was less time there than I thought, but hey, nine Rainbow Stars is really darn good, so I'm glad we got it. So there is our first run of this mystery portal done. It's really simple, but that's what's enjoyable about it. It's almost just like good turf takeover with a twist. So hey, I like it. We'll go ahead and do a couple rounds of this. Let's play some Toxic Fiend. I have not the best looking. Okay, I just don't think this uh, customization looks incredibly good with the Toxic Fiend. I almost forgot that I was on plant, or, yeah, plant team for a moment there. Oh boy. Let's not do that before the game even really starts. There we go, that was a decent vanquish. And it also takes up a lot of the screen for me right now. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Oh, you're chasing me, huh? But the toxic damage is gonna be very helpful, especially if I'm gonna be missing a lot, which I have a feeling I am, because I don't play too much peach shooter, especially on super speed. It's gonna be tough to keep up with, but hey, so far so good, we got two vanquishes already. Oh, hey you, where'd you go? You're gone. <laughs> Man, they really do just move all over the place. And I guess if there's ever a spot where it's just like, it's too much, we could always hunker down and use our uh, turret mode, but I just don't think that'll be incredibly helpful. But let's see if we can't get a couple levels with the Toxic P here. Because once again, a couple levels is always helpful, and we're so, so close to um, promotion 35, which is cool. I'm glad that we're halfway through the 30s, because I've been in the uh, promotion 30s for a long time. So I want to definitely speed up with leveling up in the next six months. I've, it's been a little slow, I gotta be honest. I'm attacking plants again. What team is Zebra on anyways? I'm not sure. Okay, let's wait right here. The dinosaur's getting very excited. I don't see any more zombies. Okay, okay, sir. Sir, please refrain from shooting at me. Thank you. Oh, I see a Captain Deadbeard. Captain Deadbeard shouldn't be that bad of a target, especially if I sneak by the mech. Haha. <laughs> and I'm gonna do poison damage just by being near you, and then I just start jumping around like a lunatic. That's what I want. Oh, jeez. Nope, no, I'm out of here. See you, goodbye. <laughs> oh, gosh. He doesn't know where I am, though. He doesn't know where I am. He definitely isn't. He's just gonna charge in there. All right, somebody get that Captain Deadbeard. He he won't stop. <laughs> He's way more of a tank than I thought. I thought I landed plenty of damage on him, but not quite. Oh man. Let's get back in there. You can tell I need to play more pea shooter, right? <laughs> I mean, there's some pea shooters I do okay with, you know, like, but usually they're the non-normal type of pea shooter. They're like the uh, commando pain. Oh, got you, and the law pain. And let's get you, nice. And it's like, I do great as a pea shooter when I do the one thing that like, you know, it doesn't have to do with splash damage, which is this. Oh, I, I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> but hey, we are competing for top anguish right now, which is pretty good, so I like that. Let's scoot around this way and do what we can. Oh, let's stop you. Yeah, I gotta stop you as much as I can. Oh, oh darn. Okay, so we got the assist though which is something. They're actually really struggling to take this point, which is pretty good. I landed right in that. That stinks, so many pea shooters. We're all just floating around. Let me move this way, and throw that over there. I'm, not, I'm never gonna land on him. He's too quick, he's too fast. 
It's gonna give Sonic the Hedgehog a run for his money. The imps are definitely some of the hardest to hit because usually imps are already supposed to be using their speed to make them hard and difficult to hit because of how short they are. But now in super speed, it's nearly impossible. You just gotta be lucky or really good at aiming, which I'm sure most of you aren't. Okay, let's go ahead and get you like this. Oh, he's coming for me. They're all coming for me, come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you don't see me? You don't see me? Well, I see you. Chase him. Okay, he's gone. I could definitely catch up with him with the hyper speed, but oh, oh, he's trying to sneak into this point. I'm not gonna let him do that. He's like refusing to look at me. Okay, we got the player back, Michelle. I'm gonna throw the chili bean bomb right there, and then I see this engineer, and, or not. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Okay, we're doing decent getting him. Got 50 experience there for the assist. Hey, hello. Okay, just don't turn around. Okay, well, I don't need to worry about you because I gotta worry about him. And then turn around and start destroying you. Oh, okay, times three, that's good. Okay, that could have been better though. It definitely could have been better. And I'm just trying to use the splash damage as much as I can. And it's like splash damage characters are gonna be pretty good here. And, but it's just, oh, it's still difficult. It's still very difficult. All right, where's the super brains at? He's coming back for his revenge. I don't like it. The engineers are gonna get me first. But yeah, this is a pretty fun super mix mode. I don't think I was incredibly, you know, blown away by the previous one. This one is actually pretty fun. And like I said, it's, it's nice that they keep it simple from time to time. It doesn't always have to be a super complicated, you know, you can play as this, but you can't do that, and you gotta do this thing. It, it's sometimes just fun when they do one simple thing, the super speed. And, you know, maybe, you know, it would be sort of, you know, stinky if they did this every time. I totally agree. Why, I can't make that jump? Okay. But it is fun when it is just every once in a while that we get a simple one. It's easy to enjoy and it's easy to understand and it's easy to keep up with because you can play any class you want. So you can play your best class or a class you need level ups with and it just makes it nice and fun. Oh boy, come on, come on, come on. I know I can get you. I believe in myself, but don't you run, you coward. You get back here, don't you dare CPG me. Oh, come on. Now you got friends, you got a backup. Ah. Oh. Okay, I got him. And did I get you? Oh, the double vanquish and the new rank plate. That is quite the way to get the 35 rank plate is through a double vanquish. Nice. Okay, and there's you down. We got a times five. Times five vanquish streaks just seem to be the topic of the day today. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, we got you. Well, now it's a times six. Oh gosh. I don't think it's gonna last very long though. Unless I can get out of here. Okay, so we got people behind enemy lines making this much tougher for us. I'm gonna wait right over here, I think. Let's see if I can't take you out. There we go, we got you. And then maybe if you peek your head over here, or not, or not, you know, whatever you want, really. Oh, they're gonna move, be moving way too quick for this, but I might as well just try to snag whatever vanquishes I can. Oh, no, he's so low, he is so low, I know he is. Come on, get him, get him, get him, got him, nice. Okay, you guys can take me, I don't care, I got your friend. <laughs> but they're not, they're all moving past me. They're all just trying to zoom to the next point. I mean, I'm sure if you're good at it, you could win this game mode so fast. Wow! That was so lucky! Oh my gosh, she was trying to get the other pea shooter. Wow. That was a moment, wasn't it? I gotta change this hat, because it keeps on getting in my field of vision. I'll just go ahead and do the basic. I mean, he looks fine basic, so I know I need to get my zebra pea skin on him, but I, I take them off when I'm showing off the legendary hat so you can just look at what the legendary hat looks like on its own. And then I always forget to put the skin back on and now I'm too busy, I'm trying to make sure our team doesn't lose. All right, let's definitely throw some early poison damage on you before you even walk on the point. That's harder for you to do anything. All right, we, we should be good to do this. Or you're gone. Okay, well we got the vanquish. Oh, hey, 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 you stop it. You stop it. You stop, you're reloading, now's the perfect time. Yeah, okay. We both got taken out, we traded vanquishes, that's totally fine with me. I'm glad I was able to just zoom in and get it done. We're over 20 vanquishes right now. That's actually better than I thought we would do with the uh, toxic thing. I'm not gonna sit here and say we're doing you know, the best ever, and we're doing all right. Whoa, let's get up here, and then try to help out my friend here, my pea shooter pal. Oh, nice, okay, we were able to do it, and we saved an ally. Even though I thought he got vanquished, but hey, I guess not. Or maybe we just vanquished the, the uh, What's his name? The uh, imp, the moment before the pea shooter got vanquished. Ooh. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> I need to back up to like this corner. And then, well, I was gonna go into my gatling, but you're trying to meet me here early. You don't wanna jump the gun, dude. Okay, get you, get you, get you. Oh, I can't. That wall's a little too high. I don't like that. Like, what's the problem with, you know, si sitting up there? Like, I think that that's a great defensive strategy. That really shouldn't be blocked by the wall. 
Thank you, Sunflower. I do appreciate that. So it looks like right now they are definitely taking this point, but I might be able to chili bean bomb in a second. Or you could just chill out here. But I was on the point. What was happening there? I should have gone on the overtime because I was on the point. Hmm, weird. I don't understand why that didn't happen. Maybe if there's more zombie or more attackers than there is defenders, it just still counts? Is that the idea? I'm not really sure. I always thought that, you know, as long as there's one from each team on both sides, you know, on the point, it would go into overtime. But maybe I was wrong, maybe it just glitched, who knows? Uh, so you're not looking at me. And that's sort of the problem is that they don't turn around and fight because they're too busy trying to get this. Well, you can have that, my gift to you. <laughs> I probably should have waited for him to set up the teleporter, threw the chili bean bomb, vanquished him, and then got extra experience for the uh, destroying the teleporter. That would have been nice. Hello, sir. You're trying to get your teleporter again, which I can appreciate, but I'm just gonna leave. Goodbye. Goodbye. No, he got me. <laughs> I should have been moving more squiggly. I should never move in a straight line like that. That was all my fault. But I might be able to get out, out there super quick if I believe in myself. The problem is that while I'm trying to, you know, deal with the teleporter, they're just making the way onto the point because they don't really need the teleporter. They can just walk over nice and quick. So really, it's a moot point, isn't it? Or maybe it was, you know, secretly a good thing because now I'm just here fighting these bad guys. All right, that was good. Let's try to get you because you vanquished my friend and I don't like it. Okay, so you don't quite see me. Uh-oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit this guy very well. He knows the strategy. Run in circles as quickly as you can. <laughs> okay, okay. This guy, oh, see, he was running in a straight line. You don't want to do that. It's just so easy to, you know, keep up with that. So now, right now, now, right now, here, right now, I just want to stall out, try to get the chili bean out. But this is a fun super mix, but like I said, I, I actually want to see more like this one, where it can just be simple. It doesn't have to be anything crazy complicated, and it's just easy to enjoy that way. So my chili bean bomb got nobody. Oh, no, there it goes. Was that mine? No, I think that was somebody else, and that's why I only got assists for it. Ooh, okay, that was just an assist apparently. Who can we beat up here? Nobody, because we're too busy getting beat up <laughs> ourselves. Go, 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 just run, just run, just run. It is always nice to be able to just go into hyper and just book it, get out of here. Because we're in the last little area now. Maybe I might be able to disperse some damage. The toxic damage really helps a lot, because of course I don't have to be incredibly accurate to get some stuff done. Okay, buddy. I just gotta stay out of his range, which actually isn't too bad to do uh, in super speed, so I guess Rody Z isn't the best character for this game mode. Oh, do you see me? I think he does, he's EPGing, watch out, Sunflower! Oh no! Okay, we got you. Go into this, I'm so dead. I am so dead, but I might as well take care of the mech or do as much damage as I can do it. Whatever works. Oh man. But I do once again wanna apologize, there hasn't been too many, wow, you're still alive? <laughs> There hasn't been too much Garden Warfare stuff going on. I've been just busy with all the other games going around. And of course it's important, you know, as a YouTuber to cover the new games as well as, you know, the old ones. You know, Garden Warfare is getting a little older now. It's starting to show its age. But Splatoon 2 is a lot of fun. And if you haven't heard of Splatoon, I definitely suggest you at least try the series because it's it's really fun game and it's pretty similar to Garden Warfare in the way that it plays, you know, it's a multiplayer shooter. And it's totally family friendly and everything, just like Garden Warfare. And I just, I think it's a lot of fun. And there's tons of stuff to unlock, and you can, you know, earn up coins, and it's just really, really similar. Let's get you if I can. Oh, well, I'll just, you know, I'm gonna tra change my attention to you. Oh gosh, is there not? Okay, what is happening? <laughs> you know, when I do play this game mode, it does make me think: Would it be cool if Garden Warfare 2 had a dedicated payload game mode? Because you know, that's really what this last part of this turf takeover is, is it's payload. It would be pretty interesting if they did have more maps just like this, because payload is a pretty popular one throughout plenty of multiplayer shooting games, is, you know, just sort of deliver the payload from point A to point B, or to multiple points at times. And it's pretty cool, because you can design a map around it that sort of feels a little bit similar to this, where there is a path, like there's a main path that most people are traveling, and it's just the idea of you're supposed to push the payload. And I think that'd actually be pretty cool. Like, this last section of uh, this Turf Takeover map is actually one of the coolest ones, I think. Just because of how you play it and how, you know, the gameplay keeps moving. Like, with normal Turf Takeover, it's always fun, you know, but sometimes you spend a good amount of time in just one specific spot fighting over that point. And that can get a little stressful and a little, I guess, frustrating at times. So it would be cool, like in this game mode, it's constantly moving. The payload is always moving as long as there are some zombies pushing it. 
It would be cool to see that just because in gameplay wise, you're constantly moving to new pieces of the environment. As we get around this corner here, the flight is going to change simply because there's different pits and there's different obstacles to hide around or to move around and everything. So it's gonna change your gameplay no matter what. And that's what makes Payload a really fun game mode. I would like to see something like that in Gun and Warfare at some point. Because I think it would fit the game well. Because it fits this last section really well. And it's really just a good proof of concept. I wonder if that's why they added it in general to see how a payload idea would work in Garden Warfare. Because if so, they did a good job, it works. They seem to make an actual payload map. A payload game mode, really, is what they need. That would be so cool. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh boy. We're still doing great. 40 vanquishes is insane with a pea shooter. And this match hasn't really been incredibly long either. So that's really, really good, I'm happy with that. Let's move back out there though. And there are zombies just everywhere. I think a chili bean bomb right there might be helpful. Oh, yeah, the double vanquish. Let's just suit up here. Probably a bad idea to suit up because they'll be coming from behind me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's staying still. That's when I can take advantage. That was pretty good. But you can see he's not moving right now because nobody's pushing it. Ooh, help out, help out. Oh boy, no, come on. That always happens in the moment that I'm trying to get out of the, the turret mode. Oh my gosh. Well. Let's keep going. And I mean, they did also have sort of a payload game mode ending to one of the Garden Warfare one trip takeovers when you push the golf cart. And that was a really fun one. I think that was probably my favorite ending to my, like my favorite Garden Warfare one trip takeover ending. Even though the gigantic sunflower lighthouse was really cool. I don't know, sometimes I am pretty cross on which one I enjoy more, Garden Warfare 1, Garden Warfare 2, especially when it comes to turf takeover maps. I really like Garden Warfare 1's turf takeover maps a lot. I really like Garden Warfare 2's, but for whatever reason, maybe it's nostalgia. I mean, it probably is partially nostalgia at this point, because I don't play Garden Warfare 1 that much anymore. But I really enjoy Garden Warfare 1's map design. And the maps just feel so huge. Like, Garden Warfare 2's maps feel big, but they don't feel as huge as Garden Warfare 1's do. And that's for better and for worse. You know, and that's sort of the thing. A lot of people compare Garden Warfare 1 and 2 and say, oh, this is better, this is worse. I think it could be pretty uh, mix and match. I think that some things with Garden Warfare 1 are worse, some things with Garden Warfare 2 are better. And I think that in the end, they're both great games. There we go. We are getting so many vanquishes right now. That's a times five vanquish streak again. Okay, ammo upgrade too, nice. That's gonna mean I can just keep shooting for longer. 50 vanquishes now, nice. This is actually turning out to be one of my better turf takeover games. Let's go ahead and get our character upgrades up here. And because we have a lot of health regeneration delays that I don't exactly need, so why don't we go ahead and get a ammo upgrade? Don't think I exactly need a speed upgrade in today's video, so I'm gonna refrain from using that, because I don't think I could possibly go much faster. Let's throw that here. Nice, nice, back up a little bit. Ooh, you're gonna move right past it, but I got somebody with it. Get you, get you, get you. I'm gonna get taken out in a second, so I might as well just do what I can. Got it. And then I can maybe take out you, because you're not paying attention to me. Ah, <laughs> oh, darn it. I think I just need a couple more shots I would've taken out that mech, but there's more than one mech. Yeah, that was a mech vanquish right there, so I got the vanquish from the grade grave. We're getting a lot of experience today. We got the, of course, rank plate 35, and we're a couple levels ahead of that now. I almost got, I got pretty close to level 10 with the uh, Moto X star, and now I'm doing the same with the Toxic B. So this was a great experience. I'm getting some good level ups here, and getting plenty of vanquishes this is a lot of fun. Because I don't think the Toxic Bee is a bad character at all. I think the Toxic Bee is really good and that's why a lot of people use him. It's just a matter of I'm not that great with him. So that's why I don't use him too much. Looks like I got some assists there, which assist help in the long run. It's better than nothing at all. Let's put this here. The Chili Bean Bomb is definitely hard to place a lot of the time, but people assume that they're not gonna run into it just because of how fast you're moving. So it's sort of a mix and match. Hmm. Oh, are you still alive? What are you doing, dude? You were like body surfing the ground. <laughs> Surf's up, dude. Okay, so we won. We actually did a successful defense here. <laughs> he was still break dancing. What is going on in this game? I'm not sure. That is a lot of pea shooters. Oh my gosh, what a good game. That was a really fun collection of turf takeover right there. Uh, the mix mode is great so far. So how many coins did we get for that? Hopefully a decent amount, 19,000. That is a decent amount. Great stuff. 
So there is a look at the Objective Rush Super Mix Mode. As I've said throughout the video, I think it's actually pretty fun. That was a good one. Nice and enjoyable, and we got plenty of level ups for many different, or I guess two. I guess that's not many, but classes I don't really play too much, so that is nice and fun. I would love to hear your thoughts on the Super Mix Mode, what characters you played as, all that kind of stuff. But for now, we have 21 Rainbow Stars, so we can at the very least open up the 10 star chest, see what we get in there. It is, of course, the yellow chest. Hopefully something good. You know, we only get one item, so hopefully it is a good item, another piece of a set, but we'll find out right here, right now! It is the Sick Day set, which actually isn't too bad, because I have the headpiece, the hat to the Sick Day set, or Sick Day set. So that's actually pretty good. But I think that's gonna finish it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you watch the support video, make sure you comment Rush to Zebra, so I know you've watched the video, and you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like it, feel free to click on any of the videos on your screen right now, or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.